So hello and uh, welcome. Thank you for coming uh, to watch this video. We're going to talk about the Ajna light, which is here. Uh, it's a device I spent one year developing in, here in Chiang Mai. The light is a meditation tool. Meditation is really another name for relaxation, uh, allowing people to come inside themselves to be quiet and to release the stresses that they may have. The theory behind the light is uh, based on the understanding of brain waves. So over the last 80 years or so, um, the technology has existed to monitor the electrical behavior of the brain using electrodes placed on the head and seeing which waveforms are produced as the voltage varies. Uh, and the voltage is on the head is a result of the activity of the brain, whether you're thinking, relaxing, imagining things, or other types of brain activity. So there are a number of well-known brainwave states. Alpha, they use the Greek letters, so alpha is a relaxed but conscious state. So when you feel maybe in the morning you haven't gone to work, you're just relaxing, lying in bed, but you're aware of what's going on. Beta, which is a higher frequency than alpha, and beta is more aware, you're actually consciously thinking, maybe deciding to do things, plan things. And then if you start getting stressed because there's too much to do, your frequency moves up even further into what's called high beta. So to give you an idea of what those frequencies are, alpha is um, 8 hertz to 12 hertz. Now 1 hertz is 1 cycle per second. One sine wave per second and you can see these drawn on a piece of paper on the machine called an EEG which measures brainwave activity. So um, alpha goes from 8 cycles a second to 12 cycles a second and then low beta is 12 to about 24 high beta 24 up to 30 now, you may be aware that um, there are three aspects to consciousness. This, the one that we are yeah, normally familiar with, our conscious, what we call our conscious selves. There is the unconscious mind, which often controls our behavior, and that's irrational things that we sometimes do, feelings we have. We don't know where they come from, but they're very strong. In psychology, we know that these are generated often from childhood issues, but the unconscious mind is said to be 80% of, of us, of our mind. Only 20% of our mind is at all conscious. So, the unconscious frequencies are theta and delta, and they are lower frequencies than alpha. So. The uh, frequency that is theta is the frequency we experience when we're going to sleep. It's called hypnagogic experience. And sometimes when you fall asleep, you may see some images coming up. You know you're not actually dreaming yet, but you're entering the dream state. And um, so that's when visions occur, when we see things, but we're not quite asleep. In deep sleep, we're in delta brainwave. So if you're monitored with EEG when you fall asleep, after about three hours, you'll be in a deep sleep without dreams, but you'll be using the, this delta waveform and it'll be between one hertz to four hertz. And people who meditate a lot, who practice that, can stay awake when they're in that brainwave frequency. Now the other 
frequency that's referred to commonly is called superconscious. And this is a gamma, gamma frequency. So gamma is above beta. It's actually when you've gone through the frequency of stress, the high beta, and you're between 30 and 40 hertz typically. Um, that is when you feel joyful, that just something beautiful has happened. You feel connected to spirit, to Allah, to God, whatever you like to say, to that you feel that you're not just this little isolated being with a material existence and there's no meaning to your life. But you begin to understand that we're all connected together. And when you do that, the interesting thing is that your brain waves change to this high, higher frequency. So those are the main frequencies that are, have been observed for many years, at least 50 years, in brainwave activity. And meditation is a technique to allow us to cultivate the other frequencies than the high beta state that we often are in when we're stressed. So the question arises, is there any technology that can help us to get into a meditative state? Now, in the past, for the last 30 years, people have used sound to do that. Uh, they use sound frequencies which are separated uh, in tone by the frequency that you wish to engage. So, if you use sound and you want to get somebody into a delta state, you separate two tones by 4 hertz. So 4 hertz will tell the brain, oh, maybe I can go into that state of frequency. And they can be effective, particularly for people who have done meditation or who are actively interested in spending the time to do it. The problem with this technology is called binaural beats, the beats between the two frequencies, is that it takes a lot of processing power and energy for the brain to uh, integrate it and to move into that consciousness. If you have a very busy mind, thinking all the time, you won't go into that state because you'll be thinking about uh, what's going on now in the music. It's not powerful enough to take you into that state and bring you into a relaxed condition. So, the Ashna light, which uh, I've invented based on some previous technology done in Austria in, uh, about four or five years ago by some Austrian psycholo or psychologist and a neurologist, um, I saw the equipment they had and realized that we have much newer technology now and using my background as an engineer, as a chip designer uh, and programmer, I put this device together in, the, in a period of nine months. So, here I'm using light. Uh, and I'm using light frequencies, which are flickering with very strong light, five LEDs, as you can see, there are five different LEDs. These are 10 watt LEDs. It generates a total of 5,000 lumen, which is very, very bright. These have only been available for about a year. I'm talking now in 2014. Um, so before that, the most powerful LED modules you could get were 3 watts. Not really powerful enough to do uh, the kind of work I wanted. So. With the eyes closed, the person who is experiencing this lies down or sits in front of the lights and closes their eyes, so they're not actually watching the light, it's too powerful for that. Um, but the brightness of the light uh, goes through the eyelids into the retina and stimulates the brain, but also, interestingly, goes through the cranium through the muscle, through the bones of the head and directly stimulates the brain and the most important place that it stimulates is right in the center of the brain and it's a very small gland 
part of the immune system, well, part of the uh, hormonal system called the pineal gland. And for many years it was not known what the pineal gland did, but the pineal gland uh, generates visions through a naturally occurring substance called dimethyltryptamine, DMT. So we all experience this when we're born, which is a very traumatic experience for the conscious mind. Uh, we're coming out of the safety of the mother into the outside world, and that journey is, uh, we're protected in it uh, psychologically by DMT. And then the other time when it's always generated is at death. When people have had near-death experiences where they've died and come back to life, maybe they had a car accident and they came back to consciousness 12 hours later, they all say the same thing. They go through a tunnel of light and they see the higher self, their consciousness, they see um, many aspects of their life and people who died a long time ago. And when they come back, they talk about this. So, by stimulating the pineal gland to produce DMT, we allow people to experience similar effects. Now, I call this light cell therapy, LST, because whatever journey you go on, whichever brainwave you wish to entrain, the light will allow you to do so. There are different programs, and you can also generate your own program with a mixture of brainwave frequencies. But these programs are designed to take you where you wish to go. It's different from traditional therapy where the therapist will say, maybe a hypnotherapist will say, okay, uh, go down these steps and count from 10 to 1, and then you'll feel deeper, deeply relaxed. With the Ajna light, you are doing the work. It is your journey. You may choose just to relax. So all you do is you select a um, alpha brainwave entrainment, it's called, that's moving you into this consciousness. And I've had over 500 people on the light so far, and I've seen people with very, very busy minds, always internal talking, never meditated, and when they come from the light, they feel very relaxed. So that is the base basis of the work. And that's plenty for most people, just to be able to relax. Many people would do traditional meditation for years to get that relaxation. If you are more interested in a deeper journey, then you go into maybe theta, or you go into gamma, you have more of a spiritual, or in theta, more of a visual experience. And once you become comfortable with that, then you can go into Delta. Um, that, what happens when people do that, it, this is a spiritual tool. You receive whatever in your belief system is your experience of God. It's called Theogenesis, uh, that's the name. We're making our spiritual awareness. Now you may be a materialist, you may say, that's all nonsense, I don't have any transcendent experiences whatsoever, and that's fine. But you'll feel at a certain state of consciousness an empathy for life, an empathy for nature. You may feel that it's actually beautiful to be in, in a forest alone, listening to the birds, hearing um, the rain coming down, these experiences which are not part of our normal mundane day-to-day -day life that nature provides, that is what for many people is a profound spiritual connection. It means that we're part of life and not separate from it. So you may have a religion that you follow in a very, a very uh, clear and profound way that provides a moral foundation for your life. The light is not trying to change anything, far from it. Just to bring your consciousness to that state that you would have when you feel connected to 
to what you call sacred. So it's self-therapy. It's not somebody telling you with subliminal messages which are hidden you know, in the music or something like that, that you must feel this or you're going to feel that. This is purely for your journey. Now, to help people relax and to gain a greater sense of connection, there's an MP3 player in, incorporated into the light, so you can upload your own music, whatever music you like. Some people like trance music, some people's classical music, some new age music, some people maybe sacred music from different traditions. Um, I provide about 300 demo songs to get you going with the light. And with the music, when your brain is entrained, as it's called, when your brain is brought into these uh, clearer states of consciousness, you connect to the music in a much deeper way. Because if you're in a stressed mode, maybe you just hear the music in the background and it's a bit irritating or you've got a thousand other things you're thinking about. But when you particularly lie down and relax with the light, the music has a great meaning. But all the work is done in changing your consciousness with the light.